are getting ready to go down into the famous Arms Family Creek. <laughs> Coming over to visit Daniel and uh, let's see, I don't know if I'm supposed to go this way. Maybe I'm supposed to go that top road. No, I think I'm supposed to go this way. You can go over the top road. Yeah. Oh, somebody coming down there to go swimming in the creek. Yeah, it's probably some of, some of Daniel's friends coming down there to go swimming in the creek. We're going over to visit our buddy Daniel Arms in Houston. And look at this bridge right here. This is amazing. He built that bridge so he'd be able to go to work because sometimes you can't get across this creek. And so that's why he built the bridge right there so he could get across it. And it's just cool. I mean, it's just cool, cool, cool. But we're, we're bringing some of the grandkids over. We're bringing some of the grandkids over to, to see the animals. Daniel's got lots of annual animals. Houston's got a lot of animals. And so we're bringing them over to see the animals. Uh, our, our little, our newest grandson, Tater, just goes crazy over baby deer. I mean, just goes crazy and the baby deer play with him. And he's only a year old. But he just reacts to those baby deer and the baby deer react to him and it's just absolutely, it's just absolutely amazing. I mean, it's just amazing the way they, you know, they just like have a bond together. And uh, so we're coming over here to, to see some of the animals that Daniel's got. Uh, they're going to be leaving here in about an hour. So he said, run on over, come on over. So we're going to go look at some of And we got uh, Thunder, my oldest grandson, is with us. And... Pickle, got Pickle, that's Tater's brother. Pickle and Tater. And they, they'll have a few more kids, I think those two kids will. So uh, uh, Kyle and Carrie, we, we may end up having a whole sandwich before it's all over. <laughs> we have the Pickles and the Taters right now, so we'll see what all what all we end up with. So we're, we're getting doing something that, now Daniel's got a great, Daniel's got a great family homestead channel, got almost 400,000 almost 400,000 subscribers. He does an incredible job. And uh, we're getting to do something here because we come over and visit Daniel. Daniel comes to visit us quite a bit, but uh, getting to do something that a lot of people around the country would like to do is visit the Arms Family Homestead. And uh, this is it. Now Chris wants to see the greenhouse because you know, Chris wants a greenhouse. Uh, she probably wants one that exact same size. There's my little buddy Houston right there waiting on me. He's, he's my buddy right there. We got the same name. He just uses one in his in the front and I use mine in the back. Hey buddy, how you doing? Good, how are y'all? Well, we're doing good. We wanna, we got some boys wanna see some of your animals. How's the baby deer? The baby deer are doing great. <laughs> Lucy's feeding them and they're just doing great. Has the small one gotten a little bit bigger yet? A little bit, a little bit, but he's still pretty small. He's getting a little bit bigger. Oh my goodness, they're adorable. <laughs> Holy uh, what do you think about those? <laughs> I call I call them poop doodles and I bet I'm pretty right, huh? They poop in the same spot every day. They poop in the same spot? Look at them. Yeah, they do. It's strange. They will do that. The big one's Rufus, right? Yeah, that's Rufus. That's Rufus. Rufus is the one that got after you the other day. Rufus. Yeah, they'll come over here. You'll go see the goats. Look at the baby goats. Look over here. Look at those goats. Look at those baby goats. Look at there. They got deer tags on like the deer. They got tags in their ear like the deer. Just open the gate far enough so you don't walk through the mud. <laughs> they're a little. Aren't they cute? Aren't they cute? <laughs> they look like big That one's pregnant right there. The white one's pregnant. Yep, I can tell. She should be due in about September or so. Rufus is a love machine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Look at here, what do you think about the little, look at the little donkeys? Hey, Pickle, look at the little donkeys. Pickle. Come here, Steve. Here. Pickle's more interested in the dog. That's a big dog, isn't it? That's a big dog. Bear's a good one. He's a good one. Yeah, they got. They're like, they're like Lucy when we got a lot of company. She don't yeah. know what to do. Okay. Usually, them. usually that that male donkey just wants to be under your feet. Yeah, all they're. The time. They get used to pe certain people, and then they everybody else is kind of a stranger for a little while. <laughs> yeah, see, so come right over to Houston. Yeah, that's big. Isn't it? Come here, Steve. 
Steve. Yeah, she named him Steve. Steve? Yeah. Well, the girls have not named the other two baby deer. They're, you know, only Ranger's got a name. The girls are going to pick the name. We got lots of suggestions, though. Boo. Lots of Boo. suggestions. Cut his head, maybe he'll leave us alone. There's your new steer. That's your new steer? Yeah. Yeah. His name is Whopper. Last with him. I, I, yeah. <laughs> the other one that, that we had, we called Big Mac. I know, Big Mac. <laughs> Big Mac, you're having Big Mac burgers now, though, aren't Big you? Big Mac was uh, almost 1,300 pounds. I know, that's well, amazing. Something like that. He's a big guy. Yeah, the Big Mac burgers. The first time we ever had a a deer over on Lake Tenkiller that we raised. Hey, you're going to get Rufus all fired up. And, and it was... Uh, it was a, a bucket somebody had raised and brought over to us, and so we had, you know, we had some land there, so we put it out there. His name Bucky, and he was totally tame when we got him. You know, he was grown, but he was totally tame. And he would walk in the office. Of the, we'd have the, the back. We had the office, and in the back door of the warehouse, would always have the, it open during the day in the summertime. And he would walk in there, and he would walk in the offices and walk right in Chris's office. And and uh, and Jordan, when she was little at that time, she was like like Houston's age. And uh, but anyway, as he got a little bit bigger, he got mean like a buck does, and and he, he was his, and and so we had to kill him, and uh, and I couldn't kill him. I said I can't do it. I think actually Kyle, did you come and kill that? You couldn't kill him either. But, but anyway, and, and anyway, I think maybe his dad did. I don't know. But but anyway, Jordan told she, we told Jordan what was happening. She was about she, was, she said, well, I'll tell you what, I'm not eating any Bucky burgers. <laughs> Because we said, we're going to shoot him and go ahead and just butcher him. I mean, well, why, you know, I mean, it does sort of sound silly, but people do it to cattle all the time. And I thought, why, you know, I mean, it's a... No reason to waste it. And that's what we did. And, you know, but it is kind of hard to do. I mean, I got to tell you something. Okay. I don't think you're going to be beating me with the watermelons now, because I got some. Well, how big is your watermelon? So we got that. Well, mine's round. Yours is long. Mine's round. I don't think I have any round ones yet. Just like long ones. I tell you what, though, I was I showed uh, I showed that watermelon on on television, and a lady a friend of mine down in uh, Florida, Val, Val Valerie Powell, she sends us bread and stuff, and she got a big garden. She said, "Your your watermelons are bigger than mine." She said, "Mine are only like a softball, and you planted way later than I did, so I might be the watermelon king." Watermelon King by accident, huh? Yeah, that's right, by accident. It'd be by accident. Hey, if you get a big watermelon, I want some of those seeds. Hey, I'm probably going to get about over 200 pounds. Hey, if you do, I want some of the seeds, okay? okay. Is that a deal? Yeah. Deal, deal, deal. All right, deal. I hope you grow a 200-pound watermelon. I've never seen one that <laughs> Well, you remember that one time we got that, that one from him? From Leon when, when I got that trophy. Yeah, that one was like 90 pounds. Yeah. You, you know, that's the first deal you and I have ever made where we both agreed on it. Yeah. Every other deal, just you agreed, I have it. Now, we got a deal that we both agreed on it. That's the first one ever. It usually involves how many fish you're going to keep. I know it. Well, he makes <laughs> deals. He makes deals that, you know. They don't benefit the other side. Really. Well, and, and the deal is not a, a consummated deal, you know. <laughs> It's going to be dangerous with around the girls yeah, he says, I'm making make deals. A deal with you. Yeah, yeah, it's a deal. The deal's done. The deal's done. Bear, you're a big one. You're a big one, Bear. You're a big one. Yeah. Fit near as much as a llama. Um, the alpacas. When you, when you mess with them a lot, they all start to spit. But, she will. Well, you got to let me tell the story. <laughs> Usually they don't just spit at us unless. Unless they're kind of aggravated at each other, or you're trying to put feed out, and one of them's trying to get to the feed bucket, they'll spit at each other. At each other. Um, the really, when we sheared them, they spit a bunch. But it wasn't necessarily that they would turn and try to spit at you. They just just spit. They don't like to be, you know, contained like that, and they just spit and sling and. That's my Kiko buck. He's a Kikos were originated. They were they were feral goats in uh, New Zealand. For a long, long time. He is cool. He's about, uh, he is cool. He's about eight years old. Really? Eight and a half, uh, something like that. So.
He's kind of past his prime, but I hate. To, I just like his horns, so I keep him. I like his horns and got a big old pot belly to sway back. You know, he's, he's just he's just cool looking. Next thing that we need at the creek is a slide. A slide at the creek would be cool. We, since we have the rope swings, I saw the rope now swing. Now we need a slide. He says. I agree. I agree, a big one. Yeah, we built two rope swings, and we've all been working on trying to perfect a backflip and everything. Well, we've been, we've been, uh, yeah, we've been hey, talking, we've been talking about a slide for two or three years to put on our deck. I think a slide on that deck would be good too. Yeah. We haven't done that. This one right here, he spent hours in the water yesterday. <laughs> I caught the buck. <laughs> no. <laughs> Here, let him let him pet that goat. For the most, for the most part. <laughs> yeah, that's a good. That's a that's a good. That a girl or a boy? Girl. This is the girl. Girl. One of the boys. He is. I don't know why we have those, but we do. They're here. Look at there. You land on your back and sprayed like that too. That's that's what's amazing. <laughs> Even if you spray her in the face, she don't mind it. And here, here comes one other one running. What do you think, Rufus? Is that good? Rufus says, I like this. Y'all go in this one up the creek? Isn't that something? She named that big brown mama Tina. Y'all go in this one up the creek? For Tina oh, Turner. I don't know. Oh, because of her hair. Nope, well, what she said. What these Somebody's swimming at the creek right now. Was there people in the creek? When they they just got there. That's my neighbors across the road. Yeah, yeah, they figured it. Around close by. Look at that, isn't that something? It's crazy. I can't blame them. Feel, feel pretty, no, no I'm, I'm not going to say what I was about to say. It'd feel pretty good right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> you say, okay, no problem. Make an offer. Yeah. <laughs> isn't that something? They love it, don't they? Those tall ones are okers, aren't they? Is that what that is? Yeah. You can see some of the watermelons. Oh, yeah, y'all doing good on the watermelons. Uh, I always trim my okra up because I hate Picking okra. Yeah, that's a good With idea. All the leaves on it. Yeah. You see the way he trims his okra, Chris? Yeah, you need to get out and do some picking. That's a, that's yeah. Yeah, it's amazing how much they change in a day's time. Oh, okra will grow in a. Oh, you can grow a whole okra in a day. It seems like. I mean, it does seem like it. It grows fast. Boy, those are good and tall. Yeah. But... Oh, mine is mine is twice as big around as that. What are you? Is that your biggest one? Well, there's the pig. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here, here He's trying to beat Jack, but I don't know if we'll get it done. He's already got some that are 20, 30 pounds. In here, I'll grow, I'll grow stuff all winter long. So, really, mostly green now, not tomatoes and peppers. But I can get peppers all the way up, you know, way up into October, November. Still be growing peppers. Yeah, it's a squash. Don't pull it out. But. You know, in about September, October-ish, we'll start planting lots of lettuce and carrots and beets. What kind of tree is this? What kind of tree is that? It's a, a fig tree. A fig tree. I'll be done. This came off of a squash. Had two, 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 some, had two of them. One of them died. A fig tree. Huh. Well, that was a fun visit to the Arms Family Homestead. Houston was just waiting out there. He was anxious to see us, and I was anxious to see him. Uh, it is amazing the amount of animals that Daniel's got in a small space. He really has got a lot of animals over there. The greenhouse was spectacular. He had some okra about that long. They're going to be tough. Those need to be picked. So we got to see the greenhouse. Uh, got, Pickle got to play on the trampoline. He, tramp, trampoline. he got to ride on a four-wheeler. So that was kind of a nice visit right there. And uh, everybody had a lot of fun. Guys and girls, have fun out there today. I love you.